And Victoria is stepping up its fight to secure even more vaccine doses as doctors struggle to keep up with the record demand. The vaccine blitz for aged care workers has gone so well, the program will be extended and will also now include paramedics. Four degrees on the thermometer and just as many hours in the queue. Yeah, we're not too sure how long it's going to be. Probably about four hours, apparently. Got here about six o'clock this morning. Dedication on a Saturday morning for thousands of Victorians keen to put lockdowns behind them. 10,000 aged care and disability workers made the most of the state government's push to get them vaccinated this week. So successful, the priority programs extended to Monday, allowing them front of queue access. Paramedics are included from Wednesday. Only half their 6,000 strong workforce is vaccinated, despite them being among the first Australians eligible. We want to get to the point where this virus isn't winning. The state government says targeted vaccine programs are going into more vulnerable communities. We're also seeing a lot of dedicated and, and, and very sensitive um, vaccination efforts taking place around our public housing estates to make sure that we give people really good access to vaccination. Almost 50,000 Victorians received a vaccine shot yesterday, a record number in state hubs and even more administered by GPs. GPs are burning through, in some cases, in half a day. Uh, their allocations. Doctors are pleading for more supply from the federal government. Some say they could at least double their allocations. Flu season last year, we did six million vaccinations in six weeks. So there's a big latent capacity. Dr Price says some people over 50 are still picky about which vaccine, despite the current outbreak. Those people really need to go and have a really good conversation with their own GP about the risk-benefit ratio because we, we do know that's not the correct science. In the race to beat new variants, there's good news about vaccine effect. We know that vaccination does help protect against infection with both Indian, both of these variants, Kappa and Delta. But with international supply issues for Pfizer, the pressure is on. Uh, it is a race um, because we need to get to that safety zone as fast as we possibly can. Public transport users are being asked to help contact tracers by making sure their Mikey cards are registered. Blake Johnson is at North Melbourne Station tonight and, Blake, the move would save crucial time. It could, Mike. We've seen bu buses and trains listed as exposure sites recently. On one bus in particular, there were 20 passengers. Just five had a registered Mikey card, meaning the remaining passengers were almost impossible to track down. Across the network, just 44% of us have a registered Mikey card. The Transport Department wants more of us to register so that if there is another outbreak, we could save hours. Within about three hours, we can get an email directly to your inbox that says uh, you've been on a service that is, has become an exposure site. If you need more convincing to register your Mikey card, the Transport Department says it allows you to have an auto top-up of your balance and you can also report lost or stolen cards, Mikey. OK, Blake, thank you.